Can you see the pattern running off? Okay, uh, this pattern here, and it's been like this every every single seam. This thing right here has been a super lifesaver. I just want to demonstrate this real quick. So I got to bring it in, and also you can see that it's got to go that way right there, okay? This piece got to go that way, and it's got to come in. Uh, this thing right here, I've not had to do so much of this, but these will turn like that if you need it. You don't, like I said, I've not had to do that. I just pretty much can run it at an angle like this, right across my seam, and it will pull that way and together at the same time. Watch that pattern line right up beautifully. Watch this. Okay, I can lock it right there, exactly where I need it. I got it locked in place and I can just let it sit right there in the glue for a minute. Look at that dead on right there there's still a little bit here i need to do i can come back up in just a second and pull this down just a little bit more but where i'm working on it straight down and together at the same time crane 515 baby super awesome if i had not had this tool right here on this job it would have been a nightmare i've not used a kicker not once on any of these seams just simply lining my carpet up this thing is a beast very, very much worth the money. So, I had a couple of gentlemen from CFI actually recommends me to the gentleman that gave me this job and just a lot of hearsay stuff. He heard that I was good and blah, 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 you know, all that stuff. But anyway, uh, he hired me and accepted my bid before he even found out I had a YouTube channel or anything. But the reason why, hold on, the reason why he uh, chose me, even though I was going to be a lot slower than a lot of other people and stuff like that, is because he wanted somebody that he would, could trust to do a good job and not just somebody to come in, bang it out, and get their money. He was wanting to use someone here, fairly local. Now, granted, it is a... Uh, an hour and a half away from my house but and he even owns a carpet shop himself or a flooring shop but he just uh told me that he didn't want to put this much on his guys he wouldn't feel confident in it in them doing it so he was reaching out elsewhere anyway he found me uh because of a reputation of doing good jobs and stuff like that i want to show you something okay i've got this uh almost 70 foot here piece of carpet I'm almost to the end of it ta -ta. and I jumped a row see that from there to there I got maybe an inch not much at all maybe an inch and a half the carpet curved on me and I cut my gray run off from here to there. So we'll go up and we'll start all over again, pulling off one more block here to get rid of that little inch and a quarter, inch and a half spot right there, so that we can do the best we can and that it looks really nice going up next to this blue run. And just doing little things like that is how you get a reputation of doing quality work and doing the best you can, okay? So just little bitty things, inch and a quarter, inch and a half. It's okay. Come back up here, start over, do it again. Do it the best you can, okay? That's not the first time I've had to do it. I had to start over twice already on a row that I've had all the way done and uh, come out with just a little bitty booger on something or a little flaw or something where I've had to start running completely over again. So it, it stinks. Are you waving? It stinks to do it a lot more time, especially after you've done been here for a week and this is the week, uh, well, four five six this is my sixth day here on this job 
I'm already hurting. My hands are sore and everything like that just from dealing with this stuff so far. So to make a mess up and have to do something that's that long again just because of that much, it's not pleasant. It surely makes you be careful the first time around so you don't have to redo it like that. So uh, doing flawless work, never having mess ups, making all your cuts perfect the first time and everything like that is definitely not what makes a good installer. What makes a good installer is uh, the end result. Definitely, I mess up just like everybody else and stuff like that, but take the time to go back and recut a 70 foot seam for this much, okay? Correcting your mistakes and not just saying, oh, it's only that much, it ain't gonna matter. Just correcting it as you go so that the end result is as best as you can possibly do. That's what makes a good installer. That's what gives you a good reputation, okay? Alrighty. We are wrapping up again. I think it's probably almost eight o'clock because it's almost completely dark outside. I didn't check the time, but uh, we got this side all 100% complete. And we got one more piece of carpet to go in over there. And after that, uh, we'll probably have just a little piece to go in the corner over there, maybe 11 foot long in the shape of like a diamond or something. Cause 12 foot's not gonna go from there to there by no means. It's probably gonna reach right about somewhere in there. So we'll see how that goes out tomorrow. We got a 53 footer. We're gonna be dropping in right there. I got it rolled out in the foyer, but we're fixing to roll it back up because we want to get out of here. But anyway, once again, uh, another another prosperous day. We've got all the trimming in done everywhere. I'm cutting in up next to the tile and all of that good stuff like that. So everything that is done around the edges and over here is as is 100% done. We ain't left no little pieces to come back and trim in or anything like that. So kind of working it as we go, go. So all of those little bitty pieces, everything's all done everywhere. Everywhere. Everybody's real happy too with everything. So. That's good. Every every afternoon, people come in and look and check it out and everything like that. So it's real nice. One guy come in and say, he says, "Is this two tone carpet?" <laughs> because of this line right here, which is the shadow from this to the openness out there. But uh, I think they got a mess of the pews uh, ready to come back in here, so they will probably start over here on this side, play some pews, and work in this direction. Uh, got a doctor's appointment in the morning, so we're going to be a late start getting over here. I got it. It's, it's actually barely is morning because it's like 11 10. Uh, so it'll probably be at 2 o'clock, 1 30, 2 o'clock before we get here tomorrow. We'll just work till about this time again. That'll give us at least five or six hours to work, and by that time, we should be able to get this done over here. So, uh, Anyway, that's going to be about it. A couple little things there, like I talked about earlier, where you just get just get a little uh, little mess up there or something like that. But we always will go back and fix it. We don't we don't let stuff ride like that. We don't ever let stuff ride like that. I got a conscience, and it feels I'm really glad that I got a conscience like that. But boy, sometimes. It'll get me in some daisies. I mean, I've been on jobs and it's like midnight. You're just pressing to get done and you're like, gum, and I can't leave it. I gotta go back and do something with that. And it'll be something so stupid that nobody would ever know it but me. <laughs> it, it's a blessing to have a have a conscience like that, but boy, sometimes it, it, it makes a lot more work. So anyway, we have, uh, Crushed a lot of cups today. Piling the carpet over it. That is such, that is so time consuming. Rolling these 80 footers out in the midst of all these dials without tearing stuff. That has been so 
so time consuming. If I knew it was gonna be such a time issue like that, I definitely would have told them we have to cut them out and redrill them. I would not have even attempted to work around those, but it is what it is and we're almost done now. So uh, if it ever comes up again in the future, no, they gotta come out, have your people re redrill and anchor them because it is either that or we're gonna specifically charge for working around them. So it has been so time consuming getting everything matched up, sliding, tr being super careful, sliding stuff around, just getting it right without gouging and tearing the carpet and stuff like that. So super duper time consuming on that part. I cannot wait. We're almost done in here. And then we'll get the start up here. This is not going to be bad. Everybody keeps talking about, oh, them steps are going to be blah, blah, blah. They're not going to be bad. I can't wait to get on them. It's going to be so nice. I, I'm, I'm just throwing this out here. I'm just throwing this out here, but I uh, should have all my cool glide stuff done. And I'm thinking, this is just what I'm thinking. I can get every one of these tops. I can get carpet cut and glued on every one of these tops. These right here, not, not that, but these, I can probably get carpet actually glued. Boom, 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 boom on one whole side of this in a day. That's what I'm thinking. Now, I don't know, we'll see, but, and then maybe the next day after it's got set really good and everything like that overnight, I'll come back and put the front edge right here, work that down right there. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. It ain't gonna be nothing, honestly, to get this, the tops and stuff like that on there, so. I'm not stressing those at all. A lot of people are making a fuss about that and thinking all oh, them steps are gonna be a pain and blah, 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 blah. They're not gonna be bad. Now I say, I say that about everything. I don't, I don't know, that might just be my stupidity, but 99% of the time things take more time than I say they do. <laughs> uh, it's because I've slowed down so much when I've gotten so much more picky in my work and stuff like that, I've yet to figure out honestly how long things take doing them the way that I do stuff now. As I have turned into such a picky worker the past few years. So, but anyway, my fingertips are killed. Both the guys' fingertips are killed. I'm going to be done. We're going to get out of here. I will see you guys again tomorrow once again. Thank you guys for tuning in to The Daily Grind. Until tomorrow, FBSB's out.